Hey everybody, welcome to QuickBooks Made Easy for Nonprofits. Quick tip, uh, this tip is for the end of May uh, 2024. I hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend. Uh, and uh, this tip is specifically for those of you that are using uh, the QuickBooks desktop program. Yes, we still love you if you're using the QuickBooks desktop program. And um, this tip is on cleaning up your memorized reports list. So just to kind of give you a context of what we're talking about here is there is a memorized report list. It's right here actually. And it's a really good idea to use it. Um, and here's how you use it. There are tons of reports in QuickBooks uh, and they're standard reports. And somehow you can find the one that you exactly want. So the way you use the memorized reports list is you create a report. You start with kind of a report that has some of what you want. Um, this report's just a P&L for this month to date. Maybe I want uh, this fiscal year to last month. Uh, but then I want columns for every month. So I can go to show columns and I can click this and I can make it by month. Now I've got columns for every month. And then when you're done, you click memorize. I'll click memorize and then profit and loss by month. And then you click OK. Uh, oh, I already have one in there, that name. Uh, but anyway, you click it, you click OK, and then that's how you get it in here, get it into your memorized report list. And then to access it, reports, memorized reports, there's my profit and loss by month, and I can pop it up whenever I want to. Okay. So the goal of the memorized reports list is so that you have easy access to reports that you use frequently. You don't have to recreate them every time. The point of this topic is that QuickBooks which I think is quite um, obnoxious of them, actually presumptuous is what the word I was looking for. They already put a bunch of reports in your memorized report list that you could have gotten yourself anyway by going through the standard report list. So the point of the topic is to for me to explain to you that I think it's a good idea for you to clean up your memorized report list and just make it only house the reports that you actually use okay and then you can organize them too by using something called memorized report groups so the first thing that I want to tell you to do is that go to reports go to memorized reports and here's all your memorized reports right here and people want to know well how do I clean these up well you have to go to the list itself and the list itself is right here memorized report list so I'm gonna click on it and then let me just make this box a little bigger whoops uh, so that you can see them all there we go and you'll see boy let me do this one more time <laughs> click happy here there we go all right so what you're gonna see I've already cleaned this up a little bit yours is likely to be a lot larger you're going to see some reports that are just reports themselves but they're gonna be housed under these parent things and these parent things are called memorized report groups and that way you can kind of organize your memorized reports into different areas and you see the one these reports here that say account with a bunch of stuff our accountant banking with a bunch of stuff company with a bunch of stuff you can get these reports anyway but they also put them in the memorized report list that's what I think is presumptuous so what I would suggest you do is delete them okay so the reports that aren't yours either Intuit added them or maybe somebody before you added them and they're just sitting there get rid of them so I'm gonna click on this first one go to the bottom left click delete um, delete memorized report are you sure I click OK and I'm just gonna do it with these others and um, while I'm doing it with these others I'm just gonna tell you that uh, you'll spend a minute doing this but the goal is for you to have a memorized report list that is just for you I'm um, I can delete the group as well so and delete so that you'll start using this and it really will make your life a lot easier uh, once you have gotten rid of the ones that you don't need and just kind of have the ones that you do need it just it makes you feel better okay <laughs> sometimes uh, what I teach is more about getting emotionally at peace <laughs> doing something in QuickBooks to get you more emotionally at peace but anyway I'm almost done here I've gotten rid of all the things that uh almost um, and let's see oh there's a control D so that's a quicker way of doing it so I'll just click K 
Control D on my keypad. That makes it a little bit quicker. Get rid of the group, Control D. Okay. So now I want to explain to you how to add memorized report groups, and then you can put your memorized reports under a specific group. So I'm going to just create one and um, I'm going to call it new group. So go to the bottom left hand button, click new group, and then I'm going to call it uh, monthly reports for finance committee. Okay. So now I've got that report. And by the way, I put mine all in caps. I didn't do this one all in caps. I probably should have. I'm going to go ahead and edit this and call it monthly. I'll make it all in caps. Reports for, and I'll just call it finance this time. All right. All right. Now, how do you make these reports be uh underneath that particular group. Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but you see this diamond right here. If I click on the diamond, I can just simply click and drag and put it under the group, click and drag and put it under the group. Isn't that kind of cool? I believe I can also, if I go to the bottom left hand button and I click edit memorized report, then you can tell it what group to go to. Okay. Understand, if you're editing a memorized report in terms of the name of it or where it is in the list, you click on it from the list and you click um, Edit Memorized Report, and then you can change the title and what it's under. That's very different from changing the report itself. So if you want to change the report itself, you have to kind of double click on it, open up the report, make the change that you want to change, and then rememorize it. And when you rememorize it, it says, did you want to replace it or create a new one? And you would say, replace it if you wanted to replace it. So that's different. Okay. So now I'm just going to close out of here. I'm going to go to reports, memorize reports, and look at how organized it looks now. It's a beautiful thing. And then I can just click on monthly reports for finance. Here's my P&L by month. And I open it up and all is right with the world. Okay. So the only other thing I wanted to say is that we have our two day webinar, three day webinar series coming up that teaches you everything you need to know about QuickBooks. Your timing is impeccable because it starts next week. Um, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You go to quickbooksmadeeasy.com. You go to uh, webinars right here and it's on June 4th, 5th, and sixth. All right. That's a Tuesday, Wednesday, and a Thursday. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Um, and it goes through when you click on it, it'll show you everything that you need in day one, everything we're covering in day two and in day three, we cover everything you could ever imagine about QuickBooks online. We take breaks, we listen to music. So if you are ready to learn, you need to sign up for the course. All right. See you there.